Mr. Vice President, General Dunford, Senator and Senator Dole, trusted allies, and all Gold Star families, thank you for being here today to help us honor the fallen, those laid to rest here to find sacrifice, service, and purpose. In their days, they guarded our freedoms. In our time, we discharge a sacred obligation to remember them. No words can capture the totality of their courage, patriotism, and love. Some things are beyond words, and their silence speaks for itself. To those they leave behind, beloved spouses, children, family, and friends, we know not a day passes that you don't think of them. Today, millions of your fellow Americans remember with you. Let them celebrate the life of your hero with you. They are here for you, and so are we, your Department of Defense, your family, your friends. I said before, the sacrifice of our honored dead is beyond words. But let those of President Theodore Roosevelt capture just a fraction of their glory. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. 